He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him. Nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by others. A man of suffering, familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Yet, he poured out his life. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He poured out his life. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. He poured out his life. After he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied by his knowledge. He will justify many and will bear their iniquities. Therefore, God will give him a portion among the great. Because he poured out his life, even unto death.